Hello everybody, welcome back. Today uh, we have the seventh game of the season, first game of a three-game set against the 0-6 Cleveland Indians. What? Um, today's pitching matchup is uh, Ross Grimsley, who's 0-1 for the Indians, versus Milt Wilcox, who won uh, the first game he started. Uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, Get the ball rolling here. Guess what? I got a fever. And the only prescription is more cowbell. Like I mentioned earlier, we um, have Milt Wilcox on the mound today. Uh, he had a pretty good first start of the year going uh, more than seven innings with four Ks. We have uh, every member of our bullpen is rested. Take a look at the uh, starting lineup for the Tigers. Grimsley is a lefty, so uh, we have our primary righty lineup in. Um, we do have uh, Lynn Jones playing right field uh, in place of Champ Summers. Lynn's a, a marginally better defensive replacement, so I'm going to give him the start today. And uh, Brookins is back at third base. Um, taken over for uh, Richie Hebner. Play ball! Okay, Mel Wilcox uh, to start it off against Alan Bannister. Play him straight away. Ground out to first base. Next up is Toby Hara. Third baseman for the Indians. Flying out to Whitaker. Whitaker. Batting third for the Indians is Mike Hargrove, the human rain delay. Just a bit outside. He also led the league uh, four times in uh, walks, and he walks his first time up. Playing first is uh, Carl Pagel, who uh, pops up to the catcher there. Bottom of the first. Facing against uh, Ross Grimsley, we have Trammell Batten first. Grounder to short. Grimsley's facing Lou Whitaker. Oh, it drops in. Do we want to go for two? 50% chance of success. Manning's got a below average arm. He did win a gold glove, though. Sweet mother of God. Um, you know, it's early. I'm going to say yes. And he's safe at second. Nice. So uh, we'll swing away with Thompson here. Takes a walk. We're off to a pretty good start. Lance Parrish. Ooh, striking out. Steve Kemp. Flying out to deep center. Okay. Top of the second. Milt Wilcox against Ron Hassey. Grounds out to short. Miguel Delaney, right fielder. Shoots a single to right. Von Hayes is up. Oh, Milt walks him. That brings up Rick Manning. I am going to guard the lines, try to get a double play. Ron, where are you? I'm in a glass case of emotion. That might do it. No. Runners move up. 
That brings up uh, Tom Verizer. I'm going to bring the outfield in. Tom Verizer was the previous shortstop uh, before Alan Trammell on the Tigers. And that should be three. Johnny walking fusses up. Still got the two dingers from opening day. Popping out to the first baseman. Dave Stegman got his first hit of the year in the last game. Takes a walk. I am going to steal second. I'm going to try. Stegman's got an 87 speed, which is above average. First is the lefty pitcher. That works. We'll take it. We're going to have Brookins try to shoot it through the right side. And he fights it off to the right side. That'll move up Stegman. Lynn Jones has a chance to score him from third, but he grounds out to short. So we're back to the top of the lineup, Alan Bannister. I'm going to bring the outfield in since his power is so low. Oh, he shoots it through the right side. We're going to try to guard the lines and uh, turn two. It's an infield fly. Lefty Hargrove. Oh, Bannister steals second against Parrish. All right, now we're going to bring the outfield in, try to prevent that run from scoring from second. Oh, shoots it right past him. So that run scored anyway. Next up, Carl Pagel. If you've never heard of him before, oh man, shooting into the gap, that'll be a double. Pagel was a uh, minor league powerhouse. He um, was once on the cover of the Wall Street Journal. That's how much they thought he was a sure thing, but um, just didn't pan out for him. But uh, he crushed it there. Ground out, moving the runner to third. That brings up Delaney. Oh, man. They keep firing it to my uh, right fielder, who is definitely my weak link in the outfield. That's frustrating. But uh, oh, there's a fly out to my right fielder. Um, yeah, I don't have anyone in AAA who can fill that position. My best um, outfielder is in AA, and that's uh, Kirk Gibson. So he's probably a year away. Um, in real life, he got 100 at bats in 1980. So I guess technically I could bring him up for a September call-up, and maybe he would perform, but right now he's just not ready. There's a base hit for Whitaker, bringing up Thompson. We need to get a little rally going here. All right, we'll take a walk. It's three walks for Grimsley. Oh, sure would like a three-run jack there. But instead, it's a double play, and uh, we head to the top of the fourth. I'm going to play straight away for Manning. Whoops. Try again there. Shoots it up the gap. It's so damn hot. Milk was a bad choice. I got robbed by a sweet nice. old lady on a motorized Parrish car. throws out Manning stealing second. Yeah. Fly ball to center. <clears throat> Two down for Bannister. 
Oh no. Should be another double. Yep. That's seven hits given up for Wilcox after such a great first start of the year. That's his third walk and no K's. What? Just making the uh, Indians look like the 27 Yankees. Settle down, Beavis. <laughs> There we go. There's the first K. All right, let's get it going here, guys. Grimsley's known for throwing primarily all off-speed. You can see his fastball rating is incredibly low. It was said that uh, because his hair was so long, he would keep like Vaseline in his hair and uh, throw a lot of spitballs and uh, that's how he got his nickname which was scuzz <laughs> that's awful that's awful there's a ground ball to the third baseman two down for stegman oh man this is not looking good early i'd like to try to get wilcox through at least two more innings here Pagel lines another base hit to left. That brings up Hassey. Since we got a catcher, try to turn two. Ron Hassey is the answer to a very famous trivia question. I'm sure most of you know this already, but he's the only catcher to catch two perfect games. One was for uh, Len Barker, and the other was Dennis Martinez. Will I drop in? No. Stegman with the uh, fly out there. Von Hayes is up. Infield pop out. Well, we got to try something different here. I'm going to try to bunt for a hit. This is the first time I've tried this all year. Yeah, uh, that's why. I'll fly. That one be a home run in a phone booth. Lynn Jones. Lining out to right. Trammel. There we go. Base hit? Yeah, we'll take it. Sweet Lou has the only two hits of the game up until uh, Trammel's hit there. Let's see what we can do here. There we go. Oof. All the way to the wall for a double. So, two runners in scoring position for Thompson. Uh, it's just going to be a lazy fly ball out to right. Rick Manning up to the plate. Grounded out to Lou. No, Lou. I meant to do that. Lou boots it. Not so sweet. <laughs> hey, that's a good one. <laughs> Ground ball to first. Turning Still two, late. maybe? I'm not no. Holding my not so lucky. <laughs> Our defense is so strong, but we don't ever seem to get the double plays. I don't know if because we have a a poor right fielder that it brings down the overall defense. I'm not really sure how that works. There's a grounder to Lou. Toby Harrell up with two outs. Strikes him out. That brings up Lance Parrish. Oof. This is rough. Another one. No. Fly ball out to center. Walking fist up. Almost snuck it through there. Oh, there's a, three feet of air that time. an air on the shortstop. Tom Verizer. Mm. I guess we've got to swing away. Oh, we'll take the walk. Yeah! 
just a bit outside. So first and second, two down for Brookins. Maybe another walk? Oh, no. Going to fly out to the left to end the inning. So uh, Wilcox is tired at 89 pitches, and we have three lefties coming up. So I'm going to take Wilcox out, and um, it's the seventh, so I'm thinking Pat Underwood. He's pitched in two of the first six games. Or shot Sater who's pitched in three. Well, I think Shot Sater is the better of the two. But we're gonna bring in Underwood against the heart of the lineup and see what he's got. Oh, that's not good. That's gonna to get to the wall for two. Lazy fly ball. Hargrove can't tag up. That brings up Passy. Oh. So now we're facing a righty. Delane, and Delane batted 341 in 1980. So he is no sure thing. And he batted 341 with no home runs, but he's got an 83 power. That doesn't make sense. What? And he's got... Well, yeah, his power is stronger than his speed, but he had 61 stolen bases. So I think that's... There's, a, there's an error there. Nice, we'll take the strikeout to get to the lefty. And get out of this inning. Unscathed. Grimsley sits at 100 pitches. Bottom of the Tigers lineup with Jones singling to center. Whoa! Stretch it into an inside the park home run. 90% chance against Rick Manning. Well, we got to take that chance. And he's safe. Nice. This crowd is wild. The most exciting play in baseball. And uh, that was doubly good because now Grimsley's tired. So maybe we've, we're going to get to him here. Is that going to drop in? Yes, it does. Stretch it for a double? No, I'm not going to risk it. We need two runs. So that will bring the tying run to the plate. And Whitaker's three for three. So let's hit and run. And well, that'll move Trammell to second. We'll give JT a chance to drive one deep. Nope. That'll be a base hit though. Let's score the run. Uh, no, we're not gonna we're not gonna risk that. Oh, he's got a noodle arm. <laughs> oh man! They're keeping Grimsley in there, even though he's really struggling. One down still for the big wheel. Boom. There we go. That's out of here. And we take the lead. And they're still going to keep him in there. Well, I guess against the lefty, that's probably what I do. Grounding out to third. And there they go. They're bringing in the righty, Mike Stanton. He's taking a shower because he stinks. Who hasn't pitched since 1975. Um, I don't think that's the right Mike Stanton. I think, I don't think that's, I don't think that's the right one. But, anyway. Okay, walking Fuss is up. And he grounds out to third. Big comeback there. Top of the eighth. Underwood's facing the lefty, so I'm going to leave him in there for this last batter, then we'll bring in the righty. Pops up. Good
Good job by Underwood. Stands to get the win at this point. If everything holds. But I will reluctantly bring in Dave Tobik, who has been so much worse in his ERA. But we just need him to get two outs against the weak hitting Verizer. Line drive to Tram uh, to Whitaker for two outs. And that brings up Alan Bannister. Oh, come on. It's never easy. Oh, wait, why is Underwood still in there? What did I miss? <laughs> that's awful. That's awful. I was like talking and I didn't pay attention. Maybe that's what it was. There we go. All right, so uh, bottom of the eighth inning. Stegman's up. Ooh, infield hit to the pitcher. Sure would be nice if we could get a couple extra runs here. Brookens flying out to shortstop. Bringing up Lynn Jones. Base hit to left. Yeah, we're going to send the runner to third. Push it. Yeah, there we go. First and third. Runners in scoring position. Let's see if Trammell can hit the ball to the outfield. Nope. Barely hits it back to the pitcher. Oh, that sucks. Let's see. Let Lou swing away. Nope. Gonna take a walk. Bring it up, JT. And he weakly grounds out to short. Okay, so we're going to bring in... We should be bringing in our closer, but... Both uh, Hiller and Lopez got lit up the last time they were in. They gave up the... Uh, they combined to give up that grand slam and to uh, lose it in the 12th. But you got to play the odds, which is uh, bringing the lefty in to face the lefties. And I really wish I had someone to put in at right field, defensive purposes, but I don't. So we play it out. Ground ball to short. It's one down. Carl Pagel's up. Uh, I knew it wasn't going to be easy. It brings up Hassey. We're going to guard the lines, turn two, and get out of here right now. Come on. Oh, nope. Fly ball to center. We're going to take out Hiller, bring in Lopez, lock it down right here. Oh, he got picked off first. That's the quickest ending to a game you're going to see. So that's two in a row for us. We won that game four to three. I'm going to go ahead and pull up the box score for all of you. Thanks again for tuning in. Please like and subscribe if you're enjoying this content. Um, also keep in mind that um, Brainiac Baseball will be having its first ever uh, card uh, break on this Sunday. So um, there's three open spots. If you go to my Patreon page, which is also Brainiac Baseball, you can uh, get in for only $4.00. And um, until uh, tomorrow's game, have a good night.